China is on a trajectory uh, to immense cyber power, but that's probably the uh, perspective from uh, two to three decades' time. China's got about a decade to go before I can even imagine that it's catching up uh, with the United States cyber power. So about a decade before it catches up, what does China essentially need to do to catch up? Well, it needs to implement the ambitious reform program that Xi Jinping announced in 2013. Uh, China's got to fix a lot of things about how its economy is managed, what are the incentives internally. Uh, it's got to loosen up a lot of the controls that it has. Uh, and it's really got to ensure that the universities become much more uh, effective at churning out a larger number of high-tech graduates and that industry can find the right jobs for them with the right incentives. How effective do you How think universities effective? will be in doing that? Well, reforming any country's education system is very tough. Reforming the Chinese education system is, is also very tough. Uh, it's a top-down system, highly centralised, uh, in comparison with, say, the American university system, which uh, is not centralised at all, a lot of academic freedom, a lot of incentives, uh, and at the moment, American universities are attracting a lot of AI talent from around the world in a way that China simply cannot. Why does the US have such prowess? Is it because uh, in the United States they teach small kids uh, how to start coding and the like? Well, that's certainly a part of it, and the education system is strong in that area. But remember that the United States technology sector has been developing peacefully in, uh, without wartime on uh, domestic soil, so to speak. China was in revolution and civil war uh, and the Cultural Revolution in the 1960s. So China started late and the United States is still enjoying the benefit of having invested heavily uh, and moved early decades ago in all these ICT uh, sectors. Where else is also showing strength? I know that you say Australia, France, Israel, uh, the United Kingdom as well. Well, uh, the, in terms of the ICT sector and the digital economy, we can't forget Japan, it's very powerful still. The European Union is very powerful. The UK as a single country is also a bit closer to China than I expected it to be before we completed this report. We put Australia in the same tier of uh, category two powers alongside China, largely because of their offensive cyber capability and their alliance with the United States. But the digital economy of countries like Israel and China, sorry, Israel and Australia, remains pretty small compared with the giants like China and Japan.